Hi, in this video we will calculate the value of a capacitor for your ceiling fan. In my other video you have already seen what happens if we do not attach a capacitor to it. So before calculating the value of a capacitor, we'll see how our induction motor works. So this is our single phase induction motor. Although this is not the motor of your ceiling fan, but the concept is pretty same. So as soon as we give a supply to it, a single phase supply, there will be a rotating magnetic field that would be produced. Although these are the stationary electromagnets, but the flux will be so adjusted that there will be a rotating magnetic field. For example, if you consider this as a north pole and this as a south pole for a movement, then these imaginary poles will rotate and they will keep on rotating with the speed of 120 F upon P. So as there will be a rotating magnetic field because of which the current will induce in the rotor and our rotator will rotate with the force of BIL. So these are the three waveforms that I have drawn. This is the single, uh, the three phase waveform. This is a two phase waveform and this is a single phase waveform. There is a very peculiar thing about three phase and two phase. Only these two waves are capable of creating a rotating magnetic field. Whereas a single phase cannot create a rotating magnetic field. And the currents in the three phase, these three currents, which I have painted with yellow, blue and red color. These all are displaced by 120 degree with each other. Whereas in case of two phase, the currents are displaced by 90 degrees. And this cannot create a rotating magnetic field. So to calculate the value of capacitor, I have drawn a diagram. This is a cage rotor and there are two windings. The first one is main winding and the second one is auxiliary winding. Why we have done two windings? To split the phase, that is to convert this single phase AC supply into two phase AC supply. How can we do that? We already know the condition that the current in this winding must be 90 degree displaced as compared to the current in this winding. And only then we will be able to create a rotating magnetic field which will produce a torque during starting. So here is a capacitor that will be attached and in this video we'll be, we will be calculating the value of this capacitor. So we have already seen that the current in these two windings must be displaced. If we see or analyze these concept using the vector diagram and this is the voltage that I have taken as a reference then the current IM that is the current in the main winding will be lagging the voltage. Why is that? Because there will be the resistance and there will be the inductance and because of the inductance the current will lag the voltage by some angle. Let's say it's 5M. Then the current in the secondary winding or the auxiliary winding, the current here will be leading. Why is that? We have attached a capacitor here. That's why the current in the secondary winding will be leading the voltage by phi s angle. But the sum of phi s and phi m, that is the angle between i s and i m must be 90 degree to create a perfect torque. And we have already seen that the rotating magnetic field can only be created in two phase supply or three phase supply. That's why we are converting a single phase supply into two phase supply. As here, this is a single phase supply. The current is coming in the main winding from here and back to the single phase supply. And again in the auxiliary winding from here and back through the capacitor to 
सिंगल फेस अप्लाई सो हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द कैपेसिटर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन द जी एम वॉट इज जी एम द जी एम इज द रेजिस्टेंस एंड इंडक्टेंस ऑफ द मेन वाइंडिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन दैट एंड दैट इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जे थ्री पॉइंट सेवन ओम्स एंड द जी ए एज ऑल्सो बीन प्रोवाइडेड दैट इज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जे थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड दिस जी ए दैट हैज बीन गिवन टू अस डज नॉट इंक्लूड द इफेक्ट ऑफ द कैपेसिटर सो दीज टू थिंग्स हैज ऑलरेडी बीन गिवन टू अस एंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी हर्ट्स हैज ऑल्सो बीन प्रोवाइडेड एंड वी आर आस्ट टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द कैपेसिटर सो दैट द करंट इन द टू वाइंडिंग विल बी इन क्वाड्रेचर दैट इज द एंगल बिटवीन टू वाइंडिंग्स मस्ट बी नाइंटी डिग्री अपार्ट सो फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी विल बी डूइंग इज वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस रेक्टेंगुलर कॉर्डिनेट्स इन टू पोलर कॉर्डिनेट्स हेयर इज द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड हेयर इज द एंगल एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एंगल द एंगल इज द रेशियो बिटवीन एक्स बाय आर दैट इज दिस पार्ट बाय दिस पार्ट and that's why the angle will be 39.43 degrees that means the current in the main winding will lag the voltage by 39.43 degrees what does that mean mm. that means that the current in secondary winding must lead the voltage by 50.57 degrees that is 90 minus 39.43 degrees only then we will be able to create a Angle of ninety degrees between I S and I M, and Z A is already been given to us. When we will attach a capacitor to it, there will be a new component that will be equal to mi minus X C, and here the angle will be this part by this part, and the angle has already given to us, or we have calculated the angle. This will be minus fifty degree. Why minus? Because this time the current is leading the voltage and the value of xc can be easily calculated the value of xc comes out to be 15.053 ohms and we already know the value of capacitance c is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc and we already knows the frequency is 50 hertz in this example therefore the value of capacitor comes out to be 211.5 microfarads so this is the value of capacitor that you must attach to your ceiling fan in order to give it a perfect starting torque now some of you must be wondering that this was a numerical and how will we calculate the value of this and this so it's pretty easy for the main winding all you have to do is you have to take your multimeter take these two probes and attach here and you can calculate a value of your resistance that will be the value of a dc resistance to calculate the value of ac resistance you have to multiply it by a factor of 1.1 the same can be done here without attaching a capacitor to it so these values that is the value of r can be calculated in both these cases to calculate the value of x this is a bit tricky for this you have to calculate the value of z and z is equal to v by i that means you have to attach a voltage source here an ac voltage source and then you have to calculate v and i after you have calculated the value of z the value of x can be calculated by using this formula z square minus r square r you have already calculated so you can calculate the value of x therefore you can calculate the Value of z, the z of the main winding will be the r of the main winding plus the j and x, and this is the x. So this is how you calculate the value of a capacitor. Thank you.